<gasps> oh, what's up? <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Brian with ProjectorScreen.com. I'm here at the 4Movie booth with my buddy Chris, that home theater dude. And we're gonna go take a look at what 4Movie is demonstrating this year at CES 2024. So follow me, y'all. All right. So the largest footprint that we've got going on the booth right now is this. It is the 4K Max from 4Movie. It's 4,500 ANSI lumens. And we're projecting it right here against 150 inch lenticular Ambient light projector screen from Spectra Projection. Now, I know Chris did a video on this guy as well, I believe, on his channel, so go check it out for some more information. One of the things I really want to point out about this is that this projector with 4,500 lumens producing this massive image with the most ridiculous type of ambient light environment that you could possibly have. One thing that 4Movie specifically tried to do with this particular demonstration is not shroud this whole thing in a black theater type of setting to make the image look extra bright. This thing is being punished by massive overhead lights in a convention center with absolutely no ceiling above it, yet it's still producing a pretty ridiculously bright image. All right, ready to go check out something else? Follow me, y'all. So as we're walking through here, I'm gonna direct you up here. This is the 4Movie X5, and this is their lifestyle projector. The 4Movie X5 placed really well in the recent lifestyle projector showdown held by Projector Central at our offices, and it has a really a substantial brightness at north of 2,000 lumens, really good contrast, and pretty substantial onboard audio, hence why it did so well. One of the things that you're gonna notice right here is they are not projecting this onto a screen. This is on a gray, matte, textured surface, yet we're still getting a really good level of brightness and color and some detail. I'm gonna direct your attention now behind me right over here. What we have is the flagship projector from 4Movie here in the United States. It is the 4Movie Theater. This is the ultra short throw projector that rocked the world in 2022 by coming out of nowhere and winning the Projector Central Laser TV Showdown. What's even more impressive is that the recent showdown held again by Projector Central just in the end of October of this year, the four movie theater won again with the judge's choice. Overwhelming winner compared to a field of eight other USTs where the four movie theater still retained its title. Now what we're looking at it right here, and I'm gonna invite you to come sit dead center, is because this is on the new Spectra Projection Highlight Fresnel screen at 120 inches. Fresnel screens have a substantially higher level of brightness than the lenticular that we just looked at before, but it does have a much reduced viewing angle. So for you to really understand the full benefit of what this screen provides, you really gotta be dead center. As you move off axis, you do see a diminishment in brightness, and again, that home theater dude did a video about this type of screen technology at our offices not long ago. So check out the link in the description he's gonna to post to that video that he made with us as well before. All right, so let's go on over here and check out something new. Now what we're checking out is the latest edition from 4Movie. It is called their Cinema 3. Now this is their single laser projector and it's producing 2,500 CVIA lumens. Now I know what you guys are thinking, what CVIA lumens versus ANSI. It's a new standard put forth by a lot of these Chinese projector manufacturers and it's actually really better than ANSI because it takes into account color temperature that you'd actually be using instead of just trying to make it as bright as humanly possible. So this particular projector is still utilizing the ALPD light engine, giving it really substantial contrast north of 3000 to one. This is gonna be available in the United States within the next couple weeks. It is the first officially certified Netflix, Google TV, ultra short throw projector. So yes, no more dongles. We got it all rocking in right here for your Netflix. It's got the same, not the same amazing audio from Bowers and Wilkins that's in the theater, but still got really impressive audio, which garnered this very high rankings from Projector Central in the audio portion of the most recent Laser TV showdown. This is gonna be retailing for under $2,000 here in the USA. So for a amazing value that you're gonna get for something with high brightness, amazing contrast, all the built-in apps that you're gonna be looking for with Google TV at the low price point, 
I have uh, high hopes that this is going to be a strong player in the USD market for this coming year. We're checking this out on the 120 inch Spectra Projection Phoenix fluorizing screen. So there has really been few people producing these types of screens over the past couple years. And Spectra Projection uh, just came out with this latest one along the lines with their Fresnel screen. One of the things that you're gonna notice about this is it has an acoustically transparent bottom border. That's gonna give you maximum flexibility for positioning any sort of speakers or audio behind the screen and be having it to be able to transmit through the perforations in the bottom. One of the other things about this product versus other fluorizing screens is the attention to detail in the housing, where the switching is, the electronics, and the tensioning. So we've tested this against the major player in this particular space who's kind of been dominating it for a while, as well as models from various other manufacturers. This not only had the best construction, the best tensioning, the least amount of waves, but it also operationally worked the most without any sort of issues. We put this through a stress test of like a thousand up and down cycles. Granted, you have to take some time in between so you don't overheat it, but this performed flawlessly 100% of the time.